Hey man, this this story kind of old, but I, I want to touch up on. It. I want to hear a little more about this shit, bro. And I want to watch it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You smell me. Hey Joe, you got another video? Billy Ting, Billy Ting, bitch, I'm bustin' out real clean. Fifty five, fifty hundred, making money in my. Come on, Good y'all, it's your brother homie Joey. Now listen, bro. It's his story from two years ago. First of all, a subscriber, bro. He was in the comments, bro. He was like, bro, I wanted to go to Morocco, but what happened to them two girls? I don't want to go no more. I know like, what the hell are you talking about. And then he never did respond, bro. So I'm like, what the fuck? What is he talking about? So I looked up, like, you know what I'm saying? I I, I think I said something like, you know, in Morocco or two girls in morocco and this came up this is on cbs news so this is like i mean of course it's a big thing somebody got murdered in morocco but this is like a big thing it's on cbs evening news that is worldwide news you know what i'm saying and apparently some scandinavian um tourists two girls they went out to morocco and they were found killed in morocco and yeah, so we gonna check that out. We gonna hopefully I don't get copyrighted, but if I do, fuck it. I just want to see what it is. You know what I'm saying? Chain gang ain't no thing. Dookie stain chingwine. Let me check this shit out. We move now to a vicious, deadly attack on two young women who were on a camping trip in the mountains of Morocco. Their alleged attackers claim to be members of ISIS. David Wow. Biden is following this. The victims were on vacation together in Morocco. 24-year-old Louisa Jesperson from Denmark and 28-year-old Marin Ullen from Norway went to college together. Their bodies were found in a remote region where they were camping. It's a popular spot for tourists. Four suspects have been arrested. Investigators released photos of three of them. Moroccan prosecutors said the men pledged allegiance to ISIS in a video that was made before the killings. There are reports that the women had stab wounds to their necks. Officials say police have video surveillance of three people pitching a tent near where the victims were staying. Wow. A Moroccan government spokesman called this a terrorist criminal act. Morocco is a popular destination for tourists, with more than 13 million from around the world expected this year. Just last month, Jesperson posted on Facebook asking her friends for advice on the region. So three of the wow. suspects were caught actually trying to board a bus to leave the country. They had long knives and long knives and slingshots on them. Authorities say, Jeff, that of the four people they arrested, they think they've got all their men. Horrible story. But good to have this shit right? fucking and terrible. In New York now. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Bro, what? Why would they even do? Fucking ISIS, bro. Listen, bro. This shit fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I know they probably got murdered for no fucking reason, bro. See, this is why. Like, like, that shit fucked up, bro. They, like, they literally got murdered for no reason, bro. See, bro, when you go on these hiking trips, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta be, a, you gotta be aware of your surroundings, bro. I ain't gonna count to you. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, and then, like, I seen in the comments, because I ain't watched the video, bro. I heard they got beheaded. Like, what the fuck, fool? Bro, that shit's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. And then it was a, it was a couple pe it was a couple folks um f not from Morocco mad because of what um what um <clears throat> well somebody said from Morocco. Hold on, let me see. Towards guys protest over scanning name. Hold on, let me. See. I'm trying to see which video Morocco sentences three to death for murder of. Hold on, let's see this. These three men have just been sentenced to death. They were found guilty of assassinating two lame as hell, bro. women on a hiking trip in Morocco last December. Louisa Louisa's mother was asking for the death penalty for the three men, and she got what she wanted. It was in Morocco's mountainous Atlas region that the two young women, Marin Uland and Louisa Vesteragri Jesperson, were abducted up. by the three men who claimed allegiance to the Islamic State group. They were later beheaded, with one of the men recording the assassination beheaded. on the phone. Louis that was rec- what? Abducted by the three men, 
who claimed allegiance to the Islamic State group. They were later beheaded with one of the men recording the assassination on a... This shit just pissed me off, bro. So, not only did they get killed, they got beheaded, and they, and they got recorded. One of them got recorded. Bro, them niggas bitches, bro. We gonna talk, bro. Them niggas, that's them niggas bitches, bro. Them niggas bitches, bro. Three men who claimed allegiance to the Islamic State group. They were later beheaded with one of the men recording the assassination on a phone. Louise's mother, who did not attend the trial... Damn, what this I say? ...allegiance to the Islamic State group. They were later beheaded with one of the men recording the... Please forgive us, Luis and Moran, for I can't forgive myself. Bro, it, it's not in y'all fault, bro. It's them, them lame niggas, bro. Bro, this, this shit shedding a, a bad light on Morocco, too, bro. Y'all got niggas thinking that's how Morocco is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap. That's fucked up. Assassination on a phone. That's fucked up, bro. Luis's mother, who did not attend the trial in Morocco, says the death sentence means justice will be served. We'll yeah, get them niggas the fuck out of here. It will bring some sort of justice to our daughters. They go around and kill people. Now they will feel what it's like to be sentenced to death. That's I don't wish death on nobody, though. But get them niggas justice the fuck out of here. That shit, bro. Families. And to prevent them from killing again. Of course. Exactly. Now she can't see her daughter no more. Last May, 21 other men went on trial for this shit. Including on counts of setting up a terror cell. They were all sentenced to between five years and life in prison. As for the three main culprits, although the death penalty is legal in Morocco, the country has had a de facto freeze on executions since 1993. <sighs> that shit fucked up, bro. Like, it, it's no... They literally went to Morocco to to go on a camping trip to visit another part of the world and these four lame niggas came and killed them for no specific reason let me see let me see these other uh, videos trial and killing or two and they was they were some students too a fatal mistake the troop about the beat the Mara the Hold on, hold on. All right, so this is a five-minute jump right here. Sloppy Slop TV. Last week, the world was shaken up after news surfaced detailing the horrific murders of two Scandinavian tourists in the remote mountain region of Morocco. Mary Newland of Norway and Louisa Jesperson of Denmark were found brutally murdered after two French hikers discovered their bodies in an isolated area near Inlil en route to the popular hiking destination of the Tubgu mountain peak. According to chilling news reports, the bodies of the young women were found in close proximity of their tent, and both of the young women had been brutally decapitated. Following the incident, four men were taken into custody after authorities discovered the in their bags as they attempted to board a bus to the popular tourist resort of Agatir. Authorities have since revealed that one of the men in custody bears a striking resemblance to one of four men. Bro, that shit is crazy, boy. On social media, declaring his allegiance to ISIS, and that another has affiliations to an extremist group in Morocco. Since then, nine additional suspects have been taken into custody, and the brother of one of the suspects has come out saying that the attack had absolutely nothing to do with Islam. Following these horrific murders, a video showing the alleged decapitation of Miss Jesperson emerged online, and reports claim that it was sent via social media to the grieving then they recorded the this by shit, members of ISIS. In this Whoa! Show, the of online, and the Mother of murdered Scandinavian tourist was sent graphic images of her daughter's kid. Bro, are you fucking serious, bro? Bro, what? So she got, she got, Im hold on, dog. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking mother. So she got images of her daughters getting, of her daughter getting. So she got images of her daughter getting cut off. Oh. 
experts claim that it was sent via social media to the grieving mother of the victim by various members of ISIS. In this shocking video, ah, the ISIS. suspect is heard repetitively speaking about the enemies of Allah and mentions revenge for his brothers in Hajin in reference to the recently fallen ISIS stronghold in Syria. Although gruesome ISIS execution videos are nothing new, this latest execution video hit close to home for many people because the victims were two innocent young European women who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. From what we know thus far, Louisa Jesperson and Mary Newland were study friends from the University of Norway who had embarked on a month-long private holiday trip to Morocco. Prior to leaving, Jesperson had even posted about her trip on Facebook asking friends if they had information on the popular Tubka mountain peak close to where her body was later discovered. Although and that was her last message on Facebook. Which is visited by half a million tourists annually, it is nonetheless a country with a history of jihadist extremism and terrorist activity. In fact, a quick glance at the U.S. Embassy and Consulate of Morocco website reveals multiple travel warnings linked to extremist activity in parts of Morocco, with the most recent one having been issued on the 13th of December this year. While travel enthusiasts are often told that the world is their playground and that the bounds of exploration have no limit, the truth is that many parts of the Middle East are not exactly the safest travel destinations Damn. present. In fact, just a few days before their deaths, the two young women had been cautioned about camping alone in the remote regions of Tubgal by local Moroccan mountain guides. Realistically speaking, two blonde women traveling unaccompanied through the remote regions of an Islamic country make for an extremely easy target for those who wish to bring them harm. I think it's really sad, especially, I don't know, it's two women. I suppose I feel safer because I'm here. My partner is a man. Despite their lust for adventure and pacifism, these two young women, like countless others, are sadly the product of a very deceitful and very naive Western society. The women's home countries of Denmark and Norway have long fostered a climate of tolerance towards mass migration from Africa and the Middle East, and are now Damn. desperately scrambling to find a solution to this ever-growing problem. Couple this with EU hate speech laws, which throw people into jail for raising concerns over Islamic violence, and chances are that you'll produce a generation of people who are completely oblivious to the fact that radical Islamists want nothing more than to see them dead. A quick glance at one of the victim's Facebook posts reveals this exact kind of irony in a video shared back in 2015 in which white people are cautioned against judging Muslims based on their appearance. Sadly, these two young women were most likely brainwashed into believing the notion that third world foreigners are just as welcoming and tolerant of us in their countries as we are to them in ours. Reading this kind of naive mindset foolishly leads many young people to believe that third world countries will welcome them with open arms and that their differences will be embraced in jihadi flooded countries with completely backwards value <coughs> systems. Although the horrific murders of these two innocent young women have shaken up the world, they've also served as a valuable lesson for those who wander off naively into dangerous territory, believing that they'll be welcomed and accepted. While we're often told by a progressive leftist culture that embracing third world foreigners will create a reciprocal attitude of tolerance towards us, the truth is that many of these foreigners still embrace violent anti-Western ideologies and hostile attitudes towards us. These types of false leftist notions misled the young women into believing that they'd be welcome in an isolated mountain region prone to terrorism, where the very same people that they were taught to embrace ultimately ended up taking their lives. Boy, that's crazy. <clears throat> and that's actually unfortunate, too. I ain't even gonna lie. Bro. There was one thing uh, I had heard, too. It, it was like um other um uh, other like other people from other like other parts of the world that be coming to like the third world be thinking they are like it's open arms is them as in you know what I'm saying the other parts of the world but really you know they they not like that and shit like that <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie listen I'm not no scared ass nigga you know what I'm saying I'm smart it's a big difference it's a big difference of being scared. They're being smart, you know what I'm saying? I ain't scared of no fucking body. I only fear God. I walk with God. You know what I'm saying? I know, I, you know what I'm saying? And that's facts. But uh, yeah, though, bro, it's like, I don't know, man. You know, damn, they kind of put in the mind, like, I know a lot of people want me to come to Morocco. 
and I want to come to Morocco. I know a lot of people like me, and for no reason, it's a lot of people that don't like you, boy. And like, you know, I don't want to come down there and so I'm happy to. Look, I'm not no shake ass nigga. I don't get in the comments be like, see, man, y'all done scared him. And, man, look, listen, listen. I don't say that bullshit. Now, I ain't scared of nothing. You know what I'm saying? But now, nah, nah, real shit though, y'all. Like, real talk. That's kind of crazy though. That's kind of crazy, bro. And that's fucked up what happened to them, bro. You know what I'm saying? You never know what people's motives are. And there's other people in Morocco who thinks they had, like, they, you know what I'm saying, it's their fault, too, because that shit happened in Morocco, and they came from a different part of the country to Morocco to camp, you know what I'm saying, to visit another part of the world and shit, and that shit happened, bro. And the fact that they they literally, like, cut one, like, they cut one female head off and sent it to their mama, that shit is so disrespectful, and that shit is so crazy, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. And I and I and I feel so sorry. And I and I mourn for they, you know what I'm saying, they family and shit like that. Cause it's like they'll never get to see their kids again, bro. They never get they the families of the fallen two women, they would never get to see them in physical form again. And and that's sad, bro. That's sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know we all gotta die one day. But it's like it's, it's that sad, bro. That's real sad. And, uh, yeah, man. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all leave, uh, leave a like for me, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I got bangers on the way. And, uh, it's your boy, the homie Joey. Y'all know what time it is. I ain't talking about the one to watch. Chain gang. Ain't no thing. Dookie Stain Chica Wayne. No. It's your boy, man. I'm going to catch y'all later. I'm out. Schmidt.